the top seven beaches in Florida 2019, the best beaches with the least amount of people. That's what we're covering today. We've all been to those beaches where you have people on top of people and no room for you or your family to go and enjoy yourselves or have fun with friends. We're going to give you the top seven beaches in Florida where you can lay out, stretch out, and get a little relief from the crowds. Number one on our list, Ormond Beach, known for the hard white sand located just north of Daytona and south of St. Augustine and is an exceptional family vacation destination with parks and gardens plus the scenic loop and elegant homes as this was the winter getaway for many rich families that came from the northern states post-Civil War during the Florida economic boom. So if you're looking to find a place to stretch out for you and your family, look no further than Ormond Beach. Number six, Crandon Beach. Crandon Beach is located just outside of Miami, Florida. It's a barrier island right off of the coast of Miami. And it is 800 acres with golf courses, tennis courts, and is located on Key Biscayne. It's consistently named one of the top 10 beaches in the world. With over two miles of shoreline, these long beaches feature soft sands and calm water. And because it is a park, there are rentals available of chairs and, and other items. Fort DeSoto Beach is comprised of five offshore keys and is one of the few beaches in Florida that you can camp overnight and is also one of the few beaches in Florida to feature a designated dog beach area. So if you ever want to bring your pet on vacation, this would be the beach that you would want to go to. Now this is a great beach because there are five keys, that means there's plenty of shoreline. And when you have plenty of shoreline, that means there's more opportunity for you and your family to stretch out and be away from people. The great thing about this Fort DeSoto Beach is that it does offer nice, calm waters because it is on the Gulf side and white sand. It is a great beach and a great opportunity for you and your family to come out and there are plenty of amenities and plenty of things to do. It is ran by the Parks Department of Pinellas County, which is where St. Pete is located. So if you're looking for a place to get away from the crowds and the hustle and bustle, look no further than Fort DeSoto Beach located in Pinellas County. Number four, Pensacola Beach, Florida. Pensacola Beach, Florida is located on the northern part of Florida on the Gulf Coast. Located on Santa Rosa Barrier Island, which is 40 miles long. And it's known for its world famous sugar white sand and emerald waters with quiet beaches. If you're from the north, near Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Arkansas, one of those states, and you're looking for a nice getaway, a weekend getaway, look no further than Pensacola Beach, Florida, as it's a great opportunity for you and your family to stretch out and have your own little piece of a beautiful white sand beach.
Number three, Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park Beach. And it is located on a barrier island just off of Naples, Florida. Cocahatchee River is accessible from the park. The beach and water features a hard reef bottom. And admission is $6 per vehicle because it is a state-run park. It is open from dawn to sundown. Now, because it is a state-run park and you have to pay for admission, then that means that generally less people come. Siesta Key, America's generally number one beach. So what made it Fortunate Funds number two? Well, Siesta Key is a great beach and we do go down there and spend a lot of times ourselves. However, because of the amount of people that are down there, it's not going to be one of the best beaches. And we have one of the best, most unknown beaches in America, the beach that's going to be number one. So stick with us. In the meantime, like and subscribe. Siesta Key is a 99% pure quartz white sand, which is why it's always soft and cool on your feet whenever you're walking barefoot. Unlike other white sand beaches, that allows you to have cooler feet as you're walking down the beach. It's been the number one beach in 2015. It was voted best beach in America in 2011 and 2017. It was Travel Channel's best sand beach in America with the whitest and softest sand in the world. Siesta Key is a great beach. It's also one of the safest beaches for swimmers with shallow water and wide open real estate due to the large sand area from the vegetation to the water. This means that when you and your family come down for vacation, you can find that wide open space in which to stretch out and enjoy yourselves without someone being right on top of you. That's why we like Siesta Key. Siesta Key is a great beach. However, it is not the number one beach in our list, but it is a great beach. Now, honorable mention we want to give to Cayo Costa. Cayo Costa is a great area. The problem is it's only accessible by boat. It is nine miles of pristine beach located on a barrier island. But being only accessible by boat, it prevents us from making it number one. So number one is Dune Allen Beach in North Florida. This is a great beach. It's got coastal dune lakes on the north side and the gulf to the south with dunes that reach 25 feet high. At, to the west of Dune Allen is Topsail Hill Preserve, a state preserve, one of Florida's best treasured parks all of this has 3.2 miles of secluded beaches and sand dunes. With 3.2 miles, you and your family can find that perfect stretch of beach where you can enjoy yourselves without interruption from other people. So this makes Dune Allen Beach our number one beach whenever you want the least amount of people on the beach that you're on so if you're looking for a way to get away and enjoy yourselves and not have a lot of people on top of you while you're out trying to enjoy time with your family your friends having a picnic having a barbecue whatever the case may be just watch the local and state laws But with the white sands, with the beautiful dunes, and with the crystal clear water, Dune Allen Beach is our number one. We hope to see you there. This is The Fortunate Funds. Please like and subscribe as we do videos and try to give you relevant information so that you can plan that perfect vacation. We do a lot of travel. We do a lot of things throughout the uh, state of Florida and throughout the U.S. So if you want to follow us, please do and click the bell notification so you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching and enjoy your vacation. Adventure awaits.